Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to modify a database switchboard in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, in our previous video, we have already learned how to create switchboard using the switchboard manager. Alright, now whenever I create a switchboard, it's not necessary that we create an accurate switchboard. As humans, we tend to do certain mistakes, right? So, in order to rectify those mistakes, we usually use modification of a switchboard. We can modify a particular switchboard using the uh, switchboard manager all right in this particular switchboard manager i can modify the name the label given to a switchboard or i can edit the action that it performs while clicking on that particular button all right so we can do all this kind of changes using the switchboard manager we'll get a better understanding how to modify a switchboard using switchboard manager in our practical approach in this video we are going to learn how to modify a switchboard using the switchboard manager so let's go ahead and do this so in order to do that i need to go to the database tool out here if you can see i have a database tool and under the database tool i usually find the switchboard manager but as you can see we can, we are not able to find the switchboard manager not a worry guys we can quickly get it i simply have to right click under the database tool ribbon and i will say customize ribbon now the moment i see a uh, click on customize ribbon another window pops up for action access option and uh, in that I will go to choose command from drop down menu and I select all commands okay so out here I will search for switchboard manager if you can see I will move right to the bottom if you can see I can see a switchboard manager I will click on switchboard manager and I'll simply add it now it is asking me to create a group so that's fine we will create a new group quickly and I will rename this group as a switchboard group so I'll simply type switchboard and simply hit OK. All right. So I have switchboard and I'll simply hit OK. Now I select this particular feature and I'll simply add it. Now it is getting added to the switchboard group. I simply hit OK. And now I have the switchboard group. So I'll simply select here. And now it is telling me that switchboard was unable to find any valid switchboard in the database. Would you like to create one? Yes, I'll definitely like to create one. Now the by default switchboard manager creates this particular page of this is main switchboard by default so you can create a new switchboard or you can basically edit this one as well so we will go ahead and edit this particular switchboard now the moment i click on edit now it is asking me what should be the name of the switchboard yes it should be main switchboard by default or if you want to change it you can simply change it now let's go ahead and add some items to this switchboard all right so i'll simply select new so now what is the item you should like to add let's say i would first like to open a form so i'll say open a form in access that's right so this is the only text which i like to see and i say open a form in edit mode all right now basically it will ask me which form you'd like to open i say i'd like to open the customer form all right so basically it will open the customer form i hit okay now i have this particular item let's go ahead and add, add some new item i say now this time i want to open a report so i'll say open a report and i'll go to this command drop down box now in this command drop down box i can select whatever i feel like as in i can add a form in add module or in edit module i can open a report design an application exit um, application mac run a macro and run a code all right so you can select any uh, item which you wish to but as of now i'll say i would like to open a report now it will ask you which report you'd like to open i say i would like to open the december orders report and i simply hit ok so now i have these two items let's go ahead and add just one more item i say this time i want to open an item which will quit this application so in our previous video we have learned how to select this whenever i click on uh, i've I manage this command and if I go on this drop down menu and if I click on exit application this particular button or this particular uh, feature will exit the application all right I hit ok now let's close this I will close this as well now basically a switchboard is nothing but a form so be, if I want to find my switchboard pane I have to go under the navigation pane and under the navigation pane now you can see I have a switchboard I simply double click on it now if you can see I have this main switchboard and I have all these items which we have mentioned if I click on open form it will open a new form all right if you want to enter new record I can simply enter new record 
and I can select. So guys, this is how you can create a or you can modify a switchboard using the switchboard manager. I can add a feature or I can add an item. I can also edit an item or I can modify an item using switchboard manager in Microsoft Access 2016.